Okay, students. So now we are going to start SNAP interview of mathematics for our student Vrees. Uh, Vrees, tell me your BTEC branch and uh, about any interview calls which you have got up to now. I'm from. Sir, I'm from EC background, sir. I got uh, interview call from IIT Gandhi Nagar. For PhD program. Yes, sir. For PhD program, I got. Uh, okay, in which area? VLSI. Sir. VLSI. Okay. Okay, Vrees. So first of all, you tell me, what is a random variable? Is a pro of assigning some real values to the variables, sir. Okay. Suppose we have a random variable x. Yes, sir. Okay. Whose mathematical expectation is three? Yes, sir. So what will be e of five x plus four? E of five x plus four, fifteen plus four, nineteen, sir. Okay. And what will be variance? If variance of x is three, uh, suppose three, then what will be variance of two x? It is three. Then value of two x, sir. Variance of x is three. Yes, sir. Then you have to three. tell me variance of two x. Two x, sir. Two x, sir. Okay. Uh, draw the normal distribution curve. Is it zero mean, sir? No, no. Take any mean. Yes, sir. Well said. Okay. So, is there any inflection point in this curve? Inflection, sir. Point of inflection. Is there any point of inflection in this curve? Yes, sir. This sudden uh, curve. Uh, The slope will change at this point, sir. At uh, x is equal to mu. So inflection point is at x equal to mu. Not inflection point. No inflection point, sir. There is no inflection point. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, suppose we have a function f z. Yes, sir. Equal to one upon z plus one. Yes, sir. F z equal to one upon z plus one. Yes, sir. So, can you write its Lorentz series expansion? Yes, sir. About. Okay. Sir. Lorentz series expansion you have to write f z equal to one upon z plus one we have yes sir one minus z plus z So one minus z plus z square minus z cube. Okay. Suppose we have a function f x. Yes, sir. F x equal to one when x is between minus one and zero, and yes, it sir. is two when x is between zero and one. Yes, sir. So can you write the Fourier series for this function? 
Yes, sir. So, just tell me how will you write? It is periodic or not? Sir? Yes, assume it periodic. Yes, sir. The branch mentioned here is repeated again and again. Suppose. Okay, sir. Okay. Then, what will be the Fourier series representation? I have to clarify, yes, sir. So tell me the steps to compute some steps. Yes, First sir. of all, you write the formula, the expansion formula, Fourier series formula for that. Which formula yes, you are going sir. to use? Sinusoidal um, expansion, sir. So write down that. Sigma. Write down. f of x is equal to a naught plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n omega naught it is uh, plus sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity so what will, what will you what will be there in place of omega omega naught or omega whatever you saying here time period is 2 sir here so omega will be 2 pi by 2 sir so pi hmm? pi Yes, sir. Sure. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, now tell me what is the geometrical interpretation of eigenvector of a matrix? Eigenvector of a matrix, yes. So can I show through graphical representations? Hmm? Can I uh, show it through graphical representation? Yeah, yeah, you can. I want geometrical interpretation of eigenvector of a matrix. Sir, you have one, one vector x, sir, and another vector y in the same direction or opposite direction, and in exactly opposite direction, but magnitude can be varied. Here, uh, I mean, x, uh, uh, y is eigenvalue of, uh, sorry, i is eigenvector of x, sir. Y is eigenvector of x, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. What is the inverse of this direction? I mean, this is opposite direction of this direction. Okay. Okay. Uh, just draw Ft equal to 1 minus t. Draw the fu function Ft equal to 1 minus t. Yes, sir. First First step, sir. F t uh, equal first... to 1 minus t. Yes, sir. First, first step, sir. I'm drawing t. Y is equal to an x like the graph. And just I'm flipping. And then I'm shifting by 1 unit, sir. Okay, now f1 minus t equal to what? Yes. 1 minus t. T, sir. T. Yes, sir. Okay. Tell me what is E1 function? A function which satisfies f of x is uh, f of x is equal to f of minus x. Okay. 
Can you give some example? Yes, uh, f of x is equal to x square is power four. So it is symmetrical about x-axis or y-axis or both? Y-axis, sir. Y-axis, okay. Suppose I have a function ln x. Yes, sir. Fx equal to ln x. Yes, sir. Can you draw the graph? Yes, okay, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stepwise or uh, I mean intuitively. How is the concavity of this function? Concavity means it is always I mean one minute, sir. It is a non decrease non. It is an increasing function. Sir. Okay. Okay, Viresh, so your interview is over now. Let me provide you the feedback. Yes, sir. Some questions you answered correctly, but in some questions you did not answer correctly. Yes, sir. Okay. So first of all, definition of random variable is very very important. So please prepare it and give a proper answer. Your answer was not satisfactory. Okay, you have just idea, but not clear idea about the random variable. So prepare that. Then e of five x plus four that was correct. Variance of two x that was okay. Then I asked about f j equal to one upon z, and I asked about this f j equal to one upon z plus one Lorentz series. Express it in Lorentz series. The given function is itself in Lorentz series form. Yes, sir. Nothing to be done. Yes, sir. Then, in normal normal curve, you have drawn normal curve correctly, but you do not know inflection point. There are two inflection point in normal curve, which one occur at mu plus sig sigma or mu minus sigma. At the first two standard deviation on both side, we have inflection point because. The curve changes its concavity there. It is changing from upward to downward or vice versa. Okay. Okay. Then uh, for it for your series also you prepare. Okay. Then geometrical interpretation of eigen vector was not correct. You have some idea about the concept but not clear idea, right? So. Geometrical interpretation of eigen vector means suppose we have a matrix A. It is a square matrix of size n by n. Now, if I multiply it with a vector of r to the power n, two possibility. Resultant vector, which is also a member of r to the power n, is either collinear with original vector or non-collinear with original vector. If new vector obtained is collinear with the original vector. Then original vector is the eigen vector of the given matrix. If new vector is not collinear with the original vector, then original vector is not eigen vector of the matrix. Right? Prepare it well. Then f t f bar minus t. This is okay. Even function okay. L n x graph is okay. Satisfactory. But concavity you do not know. So prepare concavity. Concave upward, concave downward, inflection point. Point of maxima, minima, all these things also prepare. Okay. Sir. Okay. So all the best. Focus yes. more on matrix, linear algebra, probability, random variable. Okay. Sir. And then graphs, and a little on uh, Fourier series, Fourier transform also. Okay. Sir. Okay, because they may ask you Fourier series, Fourier transform. All the best. Okay. Sir. You can leave the meeting.